our uh, planning is done uh, based on the the capabilities that we require for the country and they are balanced out with with the fact that there are some threats there are budgetary limitations etc so based on that we make the maritime capabilities perspective plan so we made this mcpp 2012 to 2027 and that is uh, put together in the ltipp so we are progressing as per that uh, as far as uh, your question on the decline of the budget it's a fact that our budget has declined uh, as a percentage from 18% to 13% but we projected this and uh, our hope is that uh, we'll get the uh, some money and uh, based on that we'll prioritize our uh, requirements so that we at all times make sure that the uh, maritime security or maritime interests of the country are not compromised the presence of china in the indian, indian ocean region had started in 2008 and uh, they are a, they are a growing economy and uh, they have aspirations so their presence in the indian ocean region has uh, is increasing we are constantly watching it indian navy also remains uh, steadfast in its commitment towards uh, curbing the menace of maritime piracy in the gulf of aden this has been going on since uh, 2008 and so far uh, 75 indian naval warships have been deployed which have safely escorted more than 300 3440 including 413 indian flagged ships with over 25000 and 62 indian mariners embarked so thus far indian navy has thwarted 44 piracy attempts and apprehended 120 pirates this is a visible demonstration of our efforts towards guaranteeing safe and secure seas in addition to uh, the anti piracy deployment indian navy was also one of the first maritime forces to respond to the security situation in the gulf of hormuz earlier this year the straits of hormuz uh, earlier this year ever since we have man- maintained an unbroken presence in the region escorting approximately 82 lakh tons of cargo on board 74 indian flagged merchant vessels even as i speak one of our ships is deployed in the straits of hormuz to reassure our merchant marine and enhance security in the region as part of operation sankalp